So you want to get started with inbound and start sending and receiving emails as fast as humanly possible. Well, we can get that done. So go to inbound.new or inboundemail.com. And what you're going to do is click get started. You'll then log in with whatever email address works for you. I'm going to log in with a brand new account. So that way I can show how everything gets set up. Alrighty. So we've signed in. We can go ahead and enter our name over here. So that way inbound knows who we are. I'll say Ryan update. Perfect. There we go. So now we are inside of inbound and what we can do is we can jump on over to the onboarding. So basically inbound is like any other email service. You create an API key and then you can programmatically send and receive emails. So click create API key and there's our demo API key. Now we can go ahead and actually simulate what inbound does as a service. So we will go ahead and click this play button to actually send a real email to the email I signed up with. And let's go over to my inbox. All right. And now I need to reply to this email with my favorite email client. I'm going to say inbound. Then I will reply. We'll jump back over to inbound on the onboarding and we will see when the reply gets received. Boom, there we go. And it shows that we replied with inbound. Awesome. And now we can go ahead and continue onto the dashboard. Now, for this example, I'm going to add the domain thebeerapp.com. Don't ask me how I have this domain, I just have it. We can go ahead and paste in the domain name right there, then click add domain. We then get redirected to the page where we have to add in our DNS records. Now, if you're unfamiliar with DNS, you can forward this automatically to your IT team and they will get everything set up for you. But if you have a traditional DNS provider, you can just go ahead and copy the record name, the types, and the values over to your DNS provider. Since I'm using Vercel, I can download the zone file and easily import that. Upload zone file, select file, and then upload the file we just downloaded. Great. So DNS does take about five to 24 hours to actually propagate. Most of the time it's pretty quick and only takes a couple of minutes, but please note that it could take up to a full 24 hours, depending on where you're located. We'll go ahead and do a refresh, see if everything's good to go. Looks like the DNS records have been verified, but we're still waiting on the upstream provider to accept the configuration. Great. We are all set up. Now let's go ahead and add an endpoint so that way we can actually start forwarding emails. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be going to webhook.site and getting a webhook URL that we can use to simulate for the endpoint. Then we'll go over to endpoints, add endpoint, add a type of webhook for the endpoint, paste in the webhook URL, click next, then make sure that without we have the webhook format of inbound selected. You can also set it up to accept Discord and Slack webhooks if you want that to show up in your Slack application, then click create endpoint. We've now created our webhook.site test endpoint and we can actually click on it and run a test to show that we are actually receiving an inbound email and that everything is properly configured. Now we will go back over to domains and addresses, go to the beer app, then we're going to give it a email address of give me beer and we're going to point it to the webhook.site test webhook and then click the plus. Now we have this email address configured and anytime that email address receives an email, it will hit that webhook.site endpoint. Let's click the copy and then we will go over to our email of choice and then we're going to send it a new email. This is the two of give me a beer at the beer app.com. We're going to send it the subject of, Hey, give me a beer, please. And then we'll just have, let's see if we can get like AI to blah, 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 blah. Sure. Whatever. We have a body and then we'll click send. Now this is the worst part on these product demos because Gmail does delay your message for 10 to 20 seconds because it has this undo functionality. But if we go over here and sit on the webhook.site website, then it will actually pop up just like that. We can see that the email address that it came from was inbound email dot new at gmail.com. And the subject was, Hey, give me a beer, please. And we actually get the text body and the HTML body and the full raw email address and the full raw email itself. 
we get access to all the headers, including the ones that traditional email clients don't normally give you access to. And there's also attachments that if you wanted to download the email itself as an attachment, you could do that for advanced security analysis. You can also go back to inbound and under email flow, you can see the two emails that you've sent. So obviously this agent at inbound.dev was the initial email that we sent, but then this is the email that we just received. So we can see the HTML, the plain text, and the raw of the email. You can resend emails to the same webhook to re-verify delivery, and we can see that it pops up once again. And you can also see the authentication and the different security checks on the email. So we have SPF pass, DKIM pass, and DMARC pass. You can also copy the inbound email ID and message ID for threading. But other than that, you are basically good to go to start sending and receiving with ease. You can create a new API key for user management from the API. And we also have a very nice doc site where you can explore all of the sending, receiving, scheduling, endpoints, and addresses APIs with ease. That docs website is docs.inbound.new, and the home website is inbound.new. So check it out today. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to click this send feedback button on the bottom. It will automatically send it to me and the team, and we will be able to get on your request right away. So try out inbound today at inbound.new and have fun.